characteristics of an integrated development environment. Compiler, debugger, interpreter, and source code editor. Now, an integrated development environment, or an IDE, is a software application that provides a comprehensive set of tools for software development. An IDE typically includes a code editor, a compiler or interpreter, a debugger, and a user interface for managing files and resources. And I think you'd be pretty sure what a user interface is at this moment. And we know IDEs can be used in a variety of different authoring contexts, such as web design as well. So we're going to be looking at this in a specific programming context, and we're focusing on tools that specifically relate to programming. So let's get started with it and firstly look at the source code editor. And this is tools that highlight the syntax elements of a program and provide many features that aid in the program's development, such as highlighting keywords of the programming language being used, access to libraries for one or more languages, okay, that can be stored within the actual integrated development environment. So it could have uh, languages and words associated with that language for Python, Visual Basic, JavaScript, all within the same integrated development environment, although you probably have to specifically use one at a time depending on your project, but obviously it has those libraries available to you there. And then as a result of having those libraries, also an autocomplete function. So as you're typing code, it then can help insert the specific keywords or the structure of the code as you are typing to assist with your code writing and help improve efficiency of the programmer. So a variety of tools available specifically to help an individual write code when writing in a programming language. The next area then is that of a compiler. This is a tool within the integrated development environment that translates a program language's source code into machine code because that's what computers understand. 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1 and all that. Okay, for a computer to process in order to execute. So we've got to have that translation happening and that's what a compiler does in order to execute a program. The next area then is out of a debugger, tools that support the software development process by identifying coding errors at various stages of development. So a debugger essentially helps us find bugs and that's bugs is used for uh, slang for errors. Okay, and this might be through highlighting incorrect syntax while you're writing the code. You might see it get underlined red, all right? It could report and correct errors as well. So it might highlight them on screen when you run a program. It will stop the program while it's in debugging mode and then highlight in yellow, this is where the error is and might make a suggestion about how to fix that. And it could also allow the program to use tools such as breakpoints to uh, actually only test portions of their program or step into features so that they can go through their program uh, in the steps and subroutines that are already there part by part and analyze that their coding is correct. So a whole variety of different tools to help with this debugging process in order to help find errors. Okay, and then the final tool we look at is that of an interpreter, a tool that directly executes instructions written in a programming or scripting language without requiring them previously being compiled into machine code in order for the language to run. All right, so in these contexts, we don't need to translate it. Okay, the actual program can interpret it automatically and just allows the actual language and obviously the codes that are associated with that language that have been written by the program to run without the need for translation there. So I hope this video is giving an understanding of the different tools that can be contained within an integrated development environment specifically for programming. All right, so these tools obviously streamline the coding process and make life easier for programmers with these different tools because it speeds up these more technical processes and aids them in their writing of code as well to allow them to obviously put their ideas into code within the specific programming language, allow them to create the projects that are needed to satisfy specific purposes and requirements of their clients.